Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the new Fort Park merch, but it's retro style. What a new Fort Park merch that's retro style that I have then. Should we get into it? I think we shall. Let's go. So the first thing I'm going to show you from the new retro merch that I have is this horn. If I can see that there. It's a Wicked Witch's Haunt pin badge. It's glow in the dark apparently. It is. And it says 1994 to 2000 on it. It's got the, I think, design of Wicked Witch's Haunt. I wasn't alive when this was around. The reason why this c closed down in 2000 because and it only lasted, what was it, six years? Because apparently there was a fire which came from that building make, making it unavailable and they couldn't fix it again so I'm it's good that they made a pin badge of something like this well done Fort Park on this pin badge right here so the next bit of retro merch I'm going to show you is this Canada Creek pin badge right here as the Canada Creek Canada Creek train on it, which you can also see in platform 15 that train and it says Canada Creek Railway on the top and it has the date of 1989 to 2011 so I did, when I when I was younger I did go on this I, apparently, I don't really remember it so the Canada Creek Railway I can, I'm, I can, I can explain this ride more, more than that other one I showed you because I don't really remember that one because I wasn't alive it's basically a railway that took you all the way around past from one end of the park to Fort Farm I think then it got shorter in cycle then coming into 2011 season it closed and then when Platform 15 became a maze at Fright Nights they used that train for Fright Nights but if, you're, if you don't go to Fright Nights at Fort Park if you go down Monk's Walk you can also see it on that walk by Monk's Walk you can fun fact with Ben Truman. So the next thing is another pin badge. It's the Fort Farm pin badge right here with a I think that's a cow on top with the retro style look that they've done for a few years around it with it saying Fort Farm on the bottom. This is probably my favourite of the three just because I like the design of it. It doesn't have a date on how long it was on this one but I I've heard it's been very, very good. I, f I don't know if I did it or not. can't remember. Um, but it's really nice that Fort Park decided to do merch like this. Well done to Fort Park on um, having the idea of doing this stuff. The next bit of merchandise I'm going to show you is the Collector F Limited Edition Park Ranges pin badge set with five Fort Park Ranges on it. I'm not... I'm probably not going to take these out at all and put them on my pin badge board because they're limited edition. It says on the back they're limited edition of there's apparently only 1,600 of these made and there could be more. You have down here the con um, this guy you can actually still see at the park. He's a bit covered up maybe but he's outside Mr. Monkey's banana bow. It's the monkey controller that I kind of was talking about in my vlog if you watch that this is a elephant controller I don't know what of mm -hmm, don't know yeah that's an elephant you got a bear controller here a bunny a giraffe and then this one up here is apparently he's like a scout wants to get into the Fort Park Rangers it would be very nice if, I would love it if Fort Park brought back the Fort Park Rangers just for one year or just for a little bit of time and I see them. It would be amazing if they do that because I really want to see what they were like back then to now. But I never saw them when they used to be at the park. So sticking with the Fort Park Rangers theme, they made a, Fort Park made a Fort Park Rangers club mug here. Where it has 3D Fort Park Rangers um, club 
and it's in 3D and it has what is this the Fort Park Rangers on here some of them it's got like a cloudy effect with all the rangers listed around the side like giraffe elephant monkey bear bunny and the cub and it goes back round on the inside if you can see that it has the old Fort Park logo here nothing really on the bottom or on the other side I think it's one of my favourite mugs I have not quite as good as the 40th anniversary one from last year but it's very close to it I really like the old style if you know I always talk about that in my videos alright let's go on to the next one cheers so the last piece of merchandise from the retro range that I have I'm going to show you I know this might be a bit of a short video but I just want to show you them because I got new merch is the Fort Park Rangers Club t-shirt. I got the coloured version. There's also one where it's in black and white. This one, it has the like the, like the design from the 3D bit of the mug I showed you on the front in yellow. Then it has a white retro style background. And then it has purple sleeves, purple collar, and then the old logo is the tag inside. And it also is meant to look old fashioned, like weird, weird underneath there on the logo. I like wearing this one, I do. I'm not wearing it right now, but it looks like I am if I'm doing this. So if you've made it this far, then thank you so much for watching this video. It'd be nice if, I, if you give this video a thumbs up. Um, maybe comment something that you want to see on my channel. I've got ideas of big things I want to bring to the channel in the future. Um, I'll be showing a few more of my merch because I got a few new pe few new pin badges, new maps, and thank you guys so much for watching this video. I've been Ben Truman. I got a cool video for the 16th of August for Roller Co National Roller Coaster Day, and. Thank you for watching Theme Park underscore TV and here's the famous salute and bye.